from yes. that perspective. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. And the last question then is always the same, is about branded search. I thought that was a hugely interesting conversation. Now we're going to bring it to my favorite topic. Uh, either or, or both, how can the metaverse help with branded search and how does branded search tie in with the metaverse? Which one or both? Well, so right now it's if you build a good a 3D experience and you put a couple of trending keywords on it, people are going to search you. So for example, if let's say, um, I don't know, if, if Target wanted to build a metaverse experience and it was tied to something that was interesting and millions of people wanted to visit it, that's going to bring up Target's brand search immediately mm -hmm. because it's new. Uh, and then the, kind of the second question, how does branded search tie in with the metaverse? Well, if you think about it this way, right now when somebody visits a website, you just see a number on analytics. So if I visit your website, Jason, you're going to see that I visited your website. I'm going to be a number. Whereas the metaverse, you're actually seeing that person and that identity in your experience real time. Mm. So you're actually going to be able to interact with that number one instead of just seeing it as a data set. So this is very, very far from now, I think, especially from the general population. But when you enter one of our metaverse experiences, I'm not seeing you as a, a hit to the server. I'm actually seeing your identity and you're giving me the right to talk to you if you raise your hand to do it, right? And so I think it's going to change the way we do sales and marketing and persuasion and, and website marketing and digital marketing dramatically. Which means that brand becomes even more important in the sense that brand we trust, we will share information and we will put our hand up and agree to discuss with them. That's absolutely brilliant.